guys welcome back to another video here's your friendly reminder always level your pieces all right today i am going to be doing a larez video for you showing you some more colors some of the beautiful colors they're not the new ones uh, i haven't gotten those yet i gotta get some but i wanted to show you the true beauty of them wet in resin so Let's get started. The first one I'm going to show you is, let's see, this is Red Earth. It's a coppery, very, very pretty color. I like that one a lot. And then, check this one out. This one is the Blue Sapphire to die for. Now this is, Blue Sapphire comes in a pigment powder and a paste. This one is the powder. You can just see how beautiful that is. And then I decided to mix up a little bit of the paste. Now, I made it so it's transparent. You can add a little or you can add a lot. I literally took this stick, okay? Do you see how much is on the end of this? I literally, there's nothing on there. That's how much I used. And look at how awesome that is. I mean, you don't need a lot of this stuff. Now, if you want it to not be transparent, you can add more until you get it to where you want it. But th this stuff is extremely strong. So a jar, although it may be anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks, is going to last you a very long time. So then the next two that I'm going to show you are the, the new Molten Gold and Molten Silver Pastes. So this is the silver. Very, very beautiful. Look at that shine. That'll knock your eyeballs out of your head looking at that. Oh, I just love it. It's like melted silver. And then here is the gold also. Another lovely, lovely. And I noticed with these molten gold and molten silver, they have almost a 3D type of effect to them. In the painting, they make like lines in themselves and it's really really cool and then I'm using the turquoise paste like I said these are all by Larez turquoise paste very very pretty there's no shimmer in this one it's just your straight turquoise beautiful and I think that's it oh and I have my angel white which is your basic white basic white so i have three very homely pictures in front of you and i'm saying homely to be kind there's other words i could use to describe them but i'm not going to i'm going to be a lady today just today for this next 20 minutes so i don't like them i'm going to pour over them I also, on the side here, have a few um, CDs because what I'm doing is, with any leftover, I'm making these little, I'll show you up close, these little discs, and I'm going to try to make a wind chime for myself out of them. Those pretty. Just something to do with the leftover resin. So I have a few of those out if I have any leftover. But I'm using uh, Stone Coat. And I don't know if you guys have this problem. I have it all the time. No matter what measuring cup I use, no matter where I buy it from, Dollar Tree, I know their measurements are off on their cups. I've tested it with water. They're not accurate. Home Depot is 99.9% .9 accurate. So I've switched over using good cups, but I'm still running into the problem where I have less of resin or less of hardener when it gets towards the end of the bottle. I don't know what it is. 
So I mixed up this stone coat and I poured in the hardener, went to do the resin and I'm short two ounces. So I don't know how this is gonna go. It may heat up quick. I will tell you it's been in the cup for quite a while now and it's still ice cold. So hopefully it won't be a problem. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but it, it happens to me all the time and I'm dead on with the measurements. So I don't know what it is, but I think I'm just going to have to maybe, I don't know, pour resin in a cup, put a line on it, and then maybe match it up. So I don't know. All I know is the measuring cups are not working for me. So first thing I want to do is pour the cover these in some white. So I'm just going to pour it in the center. And I'm going to be spreading it out with my hands. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you really quick. So measuring, or not measuring, leveling. These little things that come with the canvases work awesome when your canvas is not level on one side. So don't throw them out if you don't use them. Save them. I have one under one of these cups right now, and it saved, saved my butt here. You could always find a use for something. I finally cr cleaned my craft room the other day, and... I found a lot of garbage I was keeping. I was going to throw them away, and I said, nah, let me keep those at least. So here we go. Just going to use my hand to spread her out. Definitely need it to go over the sides at some point here because this other stuff is there, and I don't want that showing through. I'll work on those after on the side I mean I'll get it to go over while I'm manipulating the resin everybody and their mother is cutting their grass today as soon as I mixed up my resin my neighbor came out with his his uh, leaf blower and now he's out there with his lawnmower and I'm seriously ready to throw something at him out the window it just pisses me off. I swear he knows that I'm doing this. And he's a dick. Excuse my French. Grumpy old neighbor. So please excuse him. He's not very happy in life. He likes to annoy me. <laughs> I was thinking of maybe doing trying to swipe. Everybody's been swiping resin. Maybe I'll try that. Let me just heat this up really quick. I guess I had some glue on my finger somewhere there. Yeah, maybe I will try to swipe. I have a little spatula here I could use, or I could use a uh, tongue depressor. So maybe what I'm going to do is do uh, four puddle pours, one in each corner. Maybe they'll come in and join each other. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So here is the red earth. I'm using uh, somewhat Anne Marie color today. She likes like the, the turquoises and the copper or the browns together. So here we go.
see as you go a little closer to the center. So it looks like they're going to just go over the edge on me. So let me come in a little bit more. better than the sound of a lawnmower while you're filming. Oh, uh, let's see here. What do we want to put in between? Let's put silver in between those. So let's do this. Let's do silver in the center. Do silver, gold, and one of the blues in the center and swipe that over the other colors that I choose for the outside there. Let's see what kind of fancy thing we get going. Or if we just make mud. Here's some turquoise now. I'm losing my colors over here. I must still not be level even though the level says I am. By the way, this is called a triptych when you do three canvases together. Okay, and then I have the blue. So let's do, let's do this. Let me do the sapphire, blue sapphire powder in the center. Wow, that's really going off. Ain't no center to this one. And then let's take the paste, the blue sapphire paste and put it here. Hopefully there will be some left on this last one here by the time I swipe. I'll have to add some more of the red in on that one. That sucks. Ruining my pattern. That's another problem I have level leveling. Um, everything says I'm level except for my paintings. 
you know, I put the level on there, it says it's level. I do the table, it says that's level, yet. Yeah. I pour on a canvas and look at what it's telling me, it's not level. So what is the issue? All right, so let me see if I can get a little more of that. Oh, that sucks. I'm trying to get some more of this red earth in the corner here, but. We'll leave it like that. All right, so let me swipe now. It's gonna add some more white, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go like that. Um, this one here, I'll go this way. This is just playing around, guys, to see what kind of effects I can get. I went too hard there. Too hard on that one. So I can see some cells coming up. There's no type of a uh, design really. So we'll have to add to that. Let me blow some uh, heat on it and see what we got. So you definitely get cells doing that for sure. I don't like the color combina combination per se, but let's see what we can get out of it. We'll work on it a little bit. Does look a little psychedelic right now. So let's see. This one I should have swiped differently, but I didn't.
have no, I have like very little of that uh, red earth left. So let's just work with these colors for now. See what we get. Another one over here. Some white. And then one right here. I love the blue sapphire. It is such a gorgeous color, the powder. Let me uh, try to get a little bit of red into that. Maybe, let's see. What a weird effect, huh? Isn't that awesome? Those cells. Some more of that blue into that part. I'm not going to add any more of the red because it is kind of subtle in the background and I don't want to have it boom in your face now. Let me find a straw here. There we go. And just playing around, that's all. Let's 
kind of like that. It's kind of cool looking. I'm going to leave that one alone. This one, I'm not going to move at all. I'm just going to do the sides, and that's it. So let me move you here. going to do a couple of those CDs really quick. So we are covering up All in the Family, Season 1. I bought it on a box set. These are bootlegs. Sorry, I'm trying to get you up close there. And then, now one more here. Michael Jackson concert, bootleg. And what I do is I just let the resin drip through the hole and then uh, sand the back. I'm going to see in the back of it. Okay. That should be good. You could do a lot of stuff with the leftover resin. Some people make keychains, some people make pendants out of the skins. I personally do not make pendants out of resin skins because it's just so hard for me to cut it. I will do it out of acrylic pore skins, though. So what I'm doing here is just covering it. There is one thing I will say here. I'm going to be totally honest. The stone coat resin, it, uh, you have a long working time with it. They're not promoting me or anything like that. And I'm not promoting them per se. I'm just saying they do have a, a long working time. And considering that my batch is short two ounces of resin, I'm already on almost 30 minutes of filming, so that'll tell you. For these, I just kind of dump it on there and see what I get. this guy I'm 
You know, I forgot I had some clear, so let me just add a little bit to this red cup. Mix up a little bit more of that. Forgot all about that. Sometimes the best art I make is from doing this, just like plop it on, who cares? It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's try that out. Now you have to be careful with the heat because these are CDs and they will warp. So I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm going to find something to put under that one side there and call those finished. So now I could definitely see that my because it's going downhill. So my whole house must be on a downhill slope. All right, I'm going to move this one here. Oh, and I dripped. All right, guys, I'm going to take you in for a close-up on some of these. Okay, here's the CD. Very pretty. Here's another one. Sorry about the light there. The paintings. So beautiful, huh? It's a much better three-piece set than what it was before. Hold on, i got to get around the table here. This one I like a lot. All right, so there you have it. I want to thank you all for watching. And I will link the products and Laura's website in the bottom of the video. I will also list Susanna's site if you are out of the United States and would like to order Lorez. And as always, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your support and happy pouring.